Today I'm going to show you how you can send emails to just those people on your customer list that have attachments next to their name. So I have a list of uh, 12, 12 customers here and these, these are all fake names and fake email addresses. But um, what I have is I, out of all these 12, I have two people that I want to send an invoice to. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the developer tab. I'm going to macros. And the macro that I'm going to call up is, is called find a folder, which is basically asking me where all these attachments are located. And so I'm going to go run this. And now it's, I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to invoices and I'm going to say, okay. And now what we have here is we have two emails, um, one to Stephanie Hall here, and it's um, please your, see your invoice and her attachment is there. And the other one, I will close these down because I don't need them, um, is to Ebony and Ebony Carroll and the same thing. Now, let me show you how I did this. Okay, so let's go to the code first. And um, the code that we're going to look for is we're going to find a folder. I have explained this code to you previously where you um, you let the user pick out where the folder is. And so let's just F8 through this. And as I go through F8, then it's going to um, call the other program, which is look for, for um, attachments. And then it's going to bring the path with it from this, this little application. So I'm going to F8 through this. Okay, and so now it's letting me um, pick out. So I'm going to desktop, I'm going to invoices, and I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to continue to F8 through here. Now it's going to bring up my other program. We have a whole bunch of things um, declared here. I will go through them at some other time. Um, now, what it's doing, we can bring this over to the side so we can see it. The first thing it's doing is it's creating a temporary worksheet and I'm going to name it um, temp O. So there it is named and now what it's doing is it's going and it's selecting uh, my list here and it's looking for um, for rows that have attachments on them and if it finds an attachment then what it's going to do is it going to copy it over to my temp old file? And so there we go. So now we've got one copied over. Now we have two copied over and it has to go through the best, the rest of them because it's looking for another attachment. Okay, now it's going and it's addressing this to them. The, we're going down our temp temple file or temple worksheet and it's addressing them subject name uh, file report sheet dot cells uh, string body this is my little script for my what I'm saying to them attachment equals path and file name and then e address blank or carbon copy is blank blind carbon copy is blank subject is and body is blank because I'm using an HTML body okay and attachments add and so there's our first email and we'll go through the second one and there's our second email now um, when it's all done this um, I'm going to first of all I'm shutting down the the warnings on the system so I application display alerts equals uh, it's normally set to true but I'm saying false right now and I'm going F8, and then I'm um, I'm going to de delete tempo the worksheet tempo, and then I'm going to turn back the work the application display alerts so it's on. Okay, then I'm going to set my Outlook to nothing, um, set my mail to nothing, and then I'm ending sub. I will of course include this in the description of my video. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you and. I brush over these things because I assume people know how to do them, but I'm, I should be 
spending more time doing this. So if I go to my invoice file and I want to put another file on one of these other people, what I need to do is, so here is my invoices. Um, so if I click on that file and then I click on the rename, then it gives it allows me to copy the name of the file without doing anything. So I can go control C and then I can go next to one of my names here. I can go control V and now it will be added to your list so that you, this person will, uh, this Susan will receive, receive an email with the example attachment. To, to end this, or at the end of, after you've sent it, all you do is you delete that and you're ready to go for the next month. So that is how you send emails to those on a list who only have attachments. Please subscribe.